How's it going everyone? Milo Carps here and today we have a huge opening. I'm talking about 70 packs of cards. That's going to be 5 elite trainer boxes and 20 single blisters. Um, there's a few additional packs on the side. I'm not quite sure where those came from. Um, but they were all given to me by my friend Javier who wanted me to open up all this stuff for him. So why not? Let's take a look at what he gets today. We're going to start off with this guy. First ETB, here we go. And we will start with. And I'm also, I won't be doing the pack trick today. There's just way too much to blow through and not enough time. Farfetch with the leak. It's a nice looking hollow there. Twin energy. Y'all can have the code card. And uh, we will be setting the just the hits aside. Um, that way, at the end of the video, we can display them at the end. So if you're not wanting to watch the whole video, you can skip right to the ending. And you'll be able to see all the hits that were gotten from the five ETBs and the individual um, openings as well. Oh, we got to pause there. Some nice Clefairy art. I think we passed up... An uncommon or something but we're gonna go ahead and skip over it next pack and already we uh, hit a green card so we know there's not gonna be a whole lot here and you gotta like those knit arts not too many of them Camera there. All right, and we're continuing, guys. We have a lot of packs here to open today, so pardon me if I seem a little rushed. It just happens, and um, I don't know if you saw in my last video, which would uh, be a live stream. I did manage to pack the holographic Charizard from Evolutions. Boss's orders. That's a nice hit. We'll set that aside. Curse Shovel, and there's a code for y'all. So what is y'all's favorite pack or your favorite card for Rebel Clash? Leave it in the comment section below. Let's we'll see if we pull it today. I'm hoping to have this video up by tomorrow. Today is Sunday. It's gonna be kind of rushed. I'm not sure if I'll be able to have it up by tomorrow, but you could always stop by and we can talk in my live stream which I'll be playing some PTCGO and I'm looking for a new deck to play um, I might be building one towards expanded so if you can think of a good expanded deck to play I was thinking Night March uh, it's just a staple it's easy to run and straight to the point scoop up net is so ridiculous in that deck in combination with the Shaman some good old Scyther art Dreepy Magmar Unpheasant Fire Energy, Lombre, Glare Mime, Dorant, Code Card. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, so again, this week, um, I will be in New Mexico. I believe it's Los Cruces again. So, honestly, if you could think of a store, I mean... Ooh, hold on. We gotta go back to that. It's nice looking. Let me know. Um, I might stop back into that car shop. If you saw my last, my, not my last video, but a, a couple videos ago. And I actually found the, what's it called? The starter gift box uh, sealed from base set. Which was a nice pickup. And I got it for a steel, guys. That shop was called Super Gamers. Oh my god, look at that. Last pack magic from the ETB. That is a hit. Full art Ninetales V for you Ninetales fans. It does not stop. They just keep printing them. Very nice looking card. Very nice. 
Alright guys, next week trainer box will be base set sword and shield. So let's go ahead and get to that. Alright guys, base set sword and shield. Let's do this. We are looking for gold full arts. Skoropi, clock. Wow, that's really cool looking. Sobble. Inteleon, Volt Hound, very nice. Salazzle, Bisharp, and there's a code card for y'all. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone's favorite card from here is going to be Zamet. Zacian? Zacian? Uh, personally, mine's a quick ball. The texture on these is next to none. Very nice looking. If we can manage to pull a gold card today, that'd be great. So we can kind of show what they look like here in the new sets. Well, speaking of quick ball, Manatine. So Mantine, actually, there hasn't been much of him printed. And his baby stage, I believe there's only one. One ever printing. I actually own one in Reverse Hollow. And I think one of these days I'm going to have to make a collection video. Because I definitely want to show some of the... The things I've managed to pick up in, in the past years before this whole skyrocket stuff happened. Rhyhorn again. I think they reprint them every set they get get a chance to, especially oh wow, Lapras too, honestly. There's a code card for y'all. So yeah, I'm definitely waiting for Darkness of Blaze. Um very nice looking set. Of course, there's a new Charizard. Uh, I think every pack they're just going to milk Charizard as much as they can. So, expect more down the road. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting the Hyper. That is a uh, Japanese promo for a tournament. And, well, of course, we don't have X. Hold on. We got to go back. Disgusting. That looks like a Squirtle and a Mudkip. Not very good looking combination. Potion and... Code card. So we're going to see if we can pack. Tonight's hunt, we are looking for the gold quick ball. At this point, I would take a gold net. It's a very good card, too. God, new Meowth looks so weird. I like it, though. It's a good looking design. Lantern, Darkness Energy, Pseudo Wudo, Hop. Raboot. I'll have to learn all the names of these. We can learn them together because I have a lot of catching up to do. I think the last game I played was Diamond. It was a DS. And that was ages ago. Honestly, one of my favorite generations. I had some of the coolest legendaries as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been quite a while since I've actually played a Pokemon game. I would like to jump in and play more. Uh, probably download an emulator for Pokemon Yellow and Gold. Gold is my favorite between uh, Gold and Silver. Although I do have a Lugia pack art here. Uh, they just don't have Ho-Oh pack arts. Unless I want to buy a Gold and Silver box, which is out of the question. Way too expensive. I don't even know what a Gold and Silver box is going for nowadays. I think they're like well in the 3k range for a, a base set Gold and Silver. I say base set gold and silver because there is, uh, of course, there are other gold and silver sets after th the first one, which I think there's like uh, heart gold, soul silver unleashed with the Entei in the front and uh, Magmortar. There's some other random stuff like that. And honestly, based off these polls tonight, guys, save your money on ETVs. Um, some of them are really good and some are really bad. And that was the last pack for the base set Sword and Shield. The Late Trainer Box 2. We will be going into another Rebels Clash here. Well, if you haven't already, pick up your Weavile GXs. You're going to need them. If they aren't already bought out, pick them up if that's what you plan to play here in the near future. I don't know when we'll be able to go back to LG, LGSs or uh, local game stores. But guys, you're going to want them if you plan on playing Dark. So I haven't checked pricing recently. And uh, you know, they can only go up. That's how it's working nowadays. The good news is a lot of the uh, 
spiking in prices has not went to meta cards yet. Pokeball's been reprinted. Last time I think I saw that card, it was in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, speaking of that generation. I didn't read the details of it, so I'm not sure if it's the same effect and all that stuff, because if it is, you can't use the old ones uh, if the wording's any different. Oh, Dead to Us Corsola. I'm so sorry, my friend. He was so young and full of life when he first came out. I can relate, buddy. Haplitoad, Capture Energy, Code Card. Alright, next pack is going to be, I believe that's Score Bunny's final form. I'm not too sure what it's called, but we're going to learn it together, guys. Slowly but surely, we'll get this done. Fulpix. Coughing. Shinx. Yamask. He's got an interesting backstory. So Yamask is actually a Pokemon that wears the mask of its former self. So the face you see on that Pokemon is what it was like when it was alive. So let me flip back through here real quick. So this man here, that's why he's crying. He's sad, he misses his former self, and he is aware apparently that that's what's going on. Next pack, Inteleon. Had some pretty good luck with this pack online. We managed to pull the full art Inteleon uh, in my last stream. And boy howdy, did it look amazing. I believe the word I used was fabulous because those full arts look amazing. Speaking of amazing, Sometime this week, I do have a box of uh, Legendary Heartbeat, and now I'll be hunting down an amazing rare. I'm hoping to pull Celebi or Rayquaza, but uh, let me know what your favorite amazing rare is, and hopefully we can pull it sometime this week. I think I'm going to have that video posted by Thursday. There's so many packs, guys. So many. Halucha. Another uh, uncommonly printed card is Halucha. I don't think I've seen him since Furious Fists. And maybe it wasn't even Furious Fists. I think it was a pack before that. Or whatever set that may have been. Alright, here we go. Honage. Tinepole. Volibee. Corsola. Toxel, Yamask, Al Creamy, it's not bad. Charge Bug, Metapod, Burning Scarf, Code Car. And guys, we're actually going a little quicker than I thought we would with the uh, the packs themselves. I guess I'm getting a little better at it. Of course, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Criticism is mandatory for getting better. Ooh, look at that boy. Ludicolio, another card. I haven't seen like a full art printed. I would like a Ludicolio full art. Maybe sometime in the future, Pokemon will get that together for us. And I don't know if you could see it back there, but I recently picked up a giant Venusaur card. It's pretty cool looking. Um, it is non-hollow. It looks hollow. It looks amazing. And if you check my Instagram, you can go ahead and you'll be able to see what it looks like. All right, guys, last pack. From the Rebel Clash. Elite Trainer Box. Bronzong. Me. I wish I was that big. And code card here. Alrighty. We are getting down to the end of the Elite Trainer Boxes. We have two more left. We are going to Base Set Sword and Shield again. And I am being engulfed in uh, Pokemon wrappers right now. So I have a lot to clean up here after this is all said and done. That is about two booster boxes worth of Pokemon cards we are opening today. Oh, Frostmoth. He is actually used. We'll consider that a hit. Is this a good omen for what's left to come in this box? We will see. Let me know what's it, like, I see my friends pulling stuff all the time from the set, so let me know what you pulled down in the set that, uh, that you didn't see today. 
probably a lot considering we haven't hit any other hollows other than the full art nine tails v Ooh. code cards there next pack and i think we're gonna save the burning shadow blister packs for last because there are there were a few in there Grookey. Shelter. That's one I haven't seen in a bit. Ponyta. I think that was our first shelter of the night, y'all. This may have been. Code card there. Now, I know what you're thinking. How much self-control do you gotta have to not open up the vintage packs there in the back? And it's a lot. I have to look at them every day. And there's a few I have that aren't displayed there. So maybe in the future. Oh, there we go. Zamazenta V. That is a hit. Uh, in the future, I may have to open them. Um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a giveaway. I do have some black and white packs. I would like to start doing a giveaway. I think um, maybe if we can get the 500, 500 subs, and I'll start doing a giveaway. Um, probably some packs from Dragon's Exalted, but uh, we'll see, we'll have to see, keep our head in a swivel, I want to put something nice and uh, put it together for you, what are you, oh we missed them, there we go, Corbinite Energy, but yes, let me know down below what y'all would like to see in the giveaway, would you like to see packs, um, because I would like to do something special for y'all. But we need to hit the numbers first. Ugly. Gavantula. That's an interesting looking card. He's been around a while though. Alright guys, last two packs for base set Sword and Shield, ETBs. Chin Chow or Chin Chu, I don't know how you want to say it, I say Chin Chow. Goldine, Rosalia, Hyper Potion, Sandaconda, Water Energy, Drizzle, Stunfisk, Pokemon Center Lady. That didn't look like Nurse Joy at all. Last pack. Sword and Shield. Well, last pack from the ETB. We'll be moving on past this to going to a, uh, going to the single blisters next. Quick ball. Code card. All right, that was the last pack for base set Sword and Shield. We have to move on. We have to keep trucking, guys. Still a lot to open. We're getting down to the wire here. I think after this, we'll have about 20 packs left. All right, let's see if we can't do some last box magic here. To get these pulls going. A mountain of pulls here. Magic Harp for the boys, he does not let us down. That means we got something good coming up. This box will have something good. Magikarp does not sleep on us. He does not get tired. He will come through. And that's actually the first one we've seen tonight. We've opened up quite a bit of Rebel Clash here. Oh, another one. Magikarp for the boys, guys. This box is destined for greatness. I will not accept anything less. Holographic Luxray. Alright guys. We're hitting something in this box. I no longer have a doubt about it. We just need to get to it now. Dead in the eyes. Corsola to start us off. I'm so sorry buddy. The times have not been kind. Oh what was that? 
Applin. Ooh, man, it was. For a second, I thought I saw something there. Code card. Alright, guys, coming in with an Inteleon pack. Hopefully, we can get something here. And uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties with opening packs today. There we are. Litwick. Shinx. Applin. Hatema. Squirrel looking guy. Barracuda. Barrascuda. Cat Carol. Harkle. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. It looks like a, a boulder with wheels. I think the next time I have an opening this large, I'm going to do it live. So we can interact a bit. Because, man, there is so much here. I don't think I've ever opened up this much Pokemon cards. Caesar. Lightning Energy Scoop Up Net. Heracross. Electrode. And code card. Alright, Magikarp, do your thing. Blessed are thee. Show us what this box will contain. What goodies are in this box just waiting for us? It's gotta be something. I had the roughest time opening up that pack. Let's begin. Farfetched. Larry Meowth, Caterpie, Corsola, Phantom. Oh, and Teleon V Max. Fabulous. Blessed be Carp and those who follow his name. That is a hit. We'll set him aside. Heliosk, Dual Blade, Heracross, Code Card. Thank you, Magikarp, for the blessings. Need to get us a little Golden Boy set up back here. Dreepy, Snover, Bonacle, Tranaka, Sandigast, Trevenant. Very cool looking Pokemon. Very dark backstory as well. Horror Energy. Horror. More Peko. Code card. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to open up this, uh, this legendary Heartbeat booster box. Because I, I really want to dig into it to try and pull that Celebi. It looks so good. And I think I'm just going to grade it. Um, I do live here in DFW. So I, I'm just a drives away from the Beckett plant. Is that what you call it? A plant? I'm not too sure. Oh my goodness. Look at that golden frost moth. This box is the best brought to you by Magikarp. I promise. Do not sleep on the Magikarp. He'll always come through for us. Thank you so much, Magikarp. Never once did I doubt you. Alright, guys. This is the last pack from our Elite Trainer boxes. It's five Elite Trainer box, 50 packs. We still got this box of uh, blisters to go through. So let's get started. And we'll see. This will actually show. Uh, I mean, we might have better hits from... I just kind of think of those are really good hits. A, two, a full art and a gold from a ETB. That's pretty good. Oh, there we are. We're starting to hit more VMAXs. It took a bit, but we are starting to be on a roll here. Zashian makes it sound fancy. I should be drinking wine while I'm opening these packs. So let's get right into it. Score Bunny to start. Pikachu. Very nice looking art. Wooloo Shelder. Fur Seed. Oh, there we are. Cinderace. So now we know the name. Cinderace. Pokegear 3.0, Pseudobudo, and your code card. Hopefully what was ever in here was not damaged by that. Pipic, Sandile, Rattata, Alolan, Snubble, Hypno. Now, I think the best thing you can pull from here is the Gold Ultra Ball. 
And that was a thing to get in this set. So many packs, so little time. Beautiful Lapras V pack art on the front. I'll have to get another one here. Alright guys. Krogunk. Silly Cobra. Michino. Cappuccino. Bullpix. Muna. Salazzle. Oh my god, Torkoal V full art. Absolutely a monster of a deck to play against. I hate it. Terrible with the catapult matchup. Code card. We did get a quick ball, so there's enough staples here. Could probably build a structure deck after all this. One of the coolest looking ones. Maybe I'm just, uh. Maybe I just like owls more. I'm very partial to them. Pipek, Alolan Meowth, Sandile. Crabrawler, oh, Grubbin, Alolan Rattata, Sharpedo, Fire Energy, Hypno, Lima, Dragonair. And that Dragonair was actually used for a bit in a weird form of a Turbo Darkrai deck. Let's go. We are looking for the Ultra Ball from this set. I believe uh, Lapras Hyper Rare came in the set too, along with Umbreon Hyper Rare. So maybe we can pack one of those today. Beware, Fighting Energy, Poison Barb, Team Skull Grunt, Pissimian. Marshadow Pack Art. Now, I don't think we have any Magikarps to depend on in this set. We just have to run it. And hopefully we can run into a Hyper Rare Charizard from this set. Which I believe, as of now, they are running over $500. I want to say closer to $600. So let's see, guys. We got to keep up the momentum. We need to run into another Magikarp. His graces are starting to run low. But the sooner we run into another one, the sooner we can get back to our great poles. Energy. Potion. Right on. Eldegoss. Eldegoss is another cool looking Pokemon. I'm really liking that, li that lineup. It's fine. Maybe we can still write off the residues from the, uh, the previous poles. Maybe Magikarp has one more. One more pull for us before this video is over. Real oh, a Samurai V. Very nice looking card. Hunter. Vitality Band. Raboot. Looks like the Score Bunny in his teenage years. Norlax Pack. Let's go. Hootoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Sinus T, Wooloo, Sorgenet, Obstagoon Galarian. Very good card. The deck's fun to play. I don't know how well it's going to turn out in this next format. Uh, there's usually a power creep with every new set for some reason. I'm still personally, I think ADP is going to do really well. Um, I really did like Dragapult, but I'm not too sure if Dragon Park's going to be able to hold up because Dark's going to be so good. Uh, I might have to be running Jirachi GX's just to keep up with the weakness. Other than that, it is a pretty one-sided fist fight. Whew. Next one. Will the Magikarp magic flow through us one last time before this is all said and done? Rhyperior. Oh, a Caldeo V. That's a good pull there, and I'll be sure to sleeve these up here in just a second. There's just so much to go through, guys. It's hard to stop and sleeve up every card. 
Now, maybe at a thousand subs, I'll open up the Caesar pack. It does run heavy. It is weighed in at just over 21 grams, which, from what I can see, is the average for a heavy pack for that set. Corp Squire, Great Ball, Potion, Code Card. Alright, open. There we go. Philosopher, Goldeen, Diglett, Scoropi, Pokemon Center Lady, Mudsdale, the Trio, Center Lady. Not two center ladies, reverse and a non-reverse. Interesting. Crow Gunk, Silly Cobra, Machino, Bullpix, Muna, Cinderace, Corviknight. Very cool looking Pokemon of the new set. Manatine, Dottler, and there is the code card. Let me know what your favorite pull up to this point in the video has been. I think mine would have to be the Frost Moth. The Gold Frost Moth. Very good looking card. Silicobra. Cappuccino. Full. Those have been together. They are best buds in this set, aren't they? Let's see if we can get them next to each other again here. We'll be fine. Cappuccino. Next. To Vulpix again because they always seem to be next to each other kind of like Magmar and Charmeleon like to be next to each other in Hidden Fate. Silipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Sanaconda. Can we get Score Bunny to complete the baby evolutions? Lucky Egg, Doug Trio. A bunch of scared Doug Trios in the background. Very interesting art. I don't know what the story is. Maybe they see something that the other Duck Trios don't see. It's a possibility. And we are going to keep this train rolling. Alright, guys. Rudiki. Silizapede. Snom. Mawile. Glossifer. Chinchino. Durant. Metal Saucer. Quick Ball. Mantine. Code card. Alrighty, here we are, y'all. Now, we've ran through a lot of packs. A lot of singles. And if you've learned one lesson, maybe it was cheaper just to buy the single you were looking for. Cappuccino. Chin Chow. Let's see if Vulpix is somewhere in this... Somewhere in this pack. Just hiding because we called him out for being too close. Nope. They took a break from each other. They're a little upset. They were unaware. They were trying to be unofficial, but they got called out. I do have a link below to Meta TCG, and you can shop online. If you use my affiliate link at the bottom, you do save yourself 5% on your first order, I believe. Or I think it's on all your orders. By using my promotional card at the bottom, that's Milo Carp. Maybe it'll be somewhere, somewhere around here, but we'll see. And you'll save yourself a good little chunk of money while also helping out the channel, y'all. Every little bit helps. Electric Energy. Grunt. Hitmonlee. Salazzle. Code Card. Base Set Sword and Shield. We are up next. Alright, y'all. Ghastly. Rudiki. Salizapede. Snom. Mawile. Drizzle. Inteleon, regular. Seeking. Ordinary Rod. There we go. One more Burning Shadows. And that is it. We are done. You have made it this far. Thank you so much. Because this channel would not be here without you. And your extreme patience. All of you. Every single one of you. The patience of a saint. Score Bunny. Snisty. Sandy Dial. Dreadnaw, Psychic Energy, Dottler, there we go, alright y'all, last pack, it's been a long journey, and it's just about over, thank you so much for sticking by, Burning Shadows, let's hunt this Charizard, 
Ho-Oh pack art. Will you be in here? It is Necrozma pack art. All right, guys. Charizard's the goal. For this one, we will be doing the pack trick. One, two, three, and four to the front. Guys, again, thank you so much for your patience. If you've made it this far, I really like opening packs for y'all. Uh, it's just, it gives you that feeling you get away from the real world for a bit. If it's not just a couple seconds, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And we did not do it for the last pack. Thanks again, and thank you uh, to my boy for providing me with all this product. And again, if you're looking for singles for yourself, if you want to buy a card online, go ahead and use my promo link below for Meta TCG, and we'll be sure to hook you up. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you in my next stream or catch you in the next video where we will be opening a... Um, we're going hunting shiny. We're shiny hunting. We're going to hunt some shinies and a mystery box. So stick around, and I'll see you on the next one.